So you want to know the top 5 most immersive mods for Project Zomboid? Well, let me break it down for you. Okay, stupid joke, but you have to like the video if you laugh. To start this mod review, we have Defecation by Nader. This mod forces you to take heed of your bowels. The benefits of this mod are as follows. You can use your feces as fertilizer and fuel, so now you can roleplay Matt Damon out of the Martian. You can poison your friends with your poop. That's honestly my favorite part of this entire mod. And number three, Ultimate Immersion. You cannot tell me for a second running away from a horde on the edge of leaking your intestines on the floor isn't immersive. The cons to this mod are as follows. The UI is very mid and could use a touch up to be a bit smaller slash cleaner. You can get diarrhea from drinking dirty water or eating raw rotten food. So just real life then. You can shit your pants and in doing so will make you depressed over time. You can clean them though. So just real life then. And pooping on the ground attracts zombies. So just real life then. I went more in depth into how to use this mod a while ago in this video here. Overall, I give this mod a 10 out of 10 on the immersion scale, and you should 100% give it a download. 10 out of 10 would take a shit on a zombie's face again. Number 1, Urination by Monkey Shark. In the same vein as the first mod, this mod allows the immersive feature of having to urinate. Also like the last mod, I'ma touch it briefly cause I have a whole video on the mod here. The benefits of this mod are as follows. You can use your excess urine as fertilizer. You can feed your friends... Okay, this is just getting weird. When you pee on the floor, you lose 20 boredom and lose 25 stress. Now, this might not sound like a huge upside. Having a timer on tick every single time you need to pee, just getting rid of boredom and stress is kind of huge in a game where depression slows your swing speed. It does lead you covering everything in pee, but um, that's fine. Right? No, it doesn't despawn, sad reality. Who needs books and comic books when you can just piss everywhere? That sounds fun, right? Thankfully, you can turn the pee puddle spawning off in the settings. That is a sentence I never thought I would ever actually have to say out loud. What the fuck? <laughs> However, as soon as you remove the pee puddles, you no longer get the advantage of being able to use it as fertilizer. Just do what I do and pee right next to the composter whenever you take a piss and then just put it immediately in there. Sorted. The cons of this mod are as follows. You can pee your pants, which makes you depressed. Every time you pee, you leave a puddle behind. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that is one of the most annoying things on the planet. And after a while, you're just gonna have a an entire room covered in pee. Or an entire world covered in pee. An entire, imagine having pee everywhere you walk and there's nothing you can do about it. It is a terrifying concept and I really don't want to fucking think about it anymore. I genuinely can't think of anything else. I give this mod another 10 out of 10 on the immersion scale. You also might be asking, Jet, isn't this mod number 2? No, fuck you. I bundled urination and defecation together. Because why on earth would you just want one and not the other at the same time? Number two, True Actions by Iberis and, seriously, fucking Troy McClure? Hi, I'm Troy McClure. That, that's awesome. Have you ever been playing Project Zomboid and thought, hmm, in a game like this where they want you to feel so immersed at every step, why can't you sit on the chairs or lay in the beds? Yeah, I know, me too. Seriously, what the fuck, devs? Oh right, mod review. This mod adds the ability to sit and lay down. That's it. I do wish I had more to say here, but that ability adds so much to the game. Laying in your bed on the top of an apartment building while the hordes destroy the downstairs areas knowing you're completely safe but also the only human alive is a really weird experience. Benefits of this mod. You can now have mental issues properly. You can sit and lay down. You can lay in a bed after a long day and drink a beer. That immediately wins it to me, it just feels right. The downsides of this mod. Every so often the mod glitches out and you gotta recenter it but it doesn't really have any actual negative effects though. I give this mod a devs what the fuck out of 10 for immersion. 10 out of 10 would have an existential crisis again. While I have you here though, make sure you also grab True Actions 3, Dancing, and the Extra Emotes mod. Being able to dance in Zomboid is actually amazing. You can also unironically walk up to your friends and when they ask you a question, tell them, let me break it down for you, and then just dance like that really stupid meme. Let me break it down for you, Mark. <laughs> Number 3. Standing items by De Gisler. De Geisler. Sure, let's go with that. I truly believe this mod is self-explanatory, but... I'ma just read the mod description on Steam, so hopefully this explains it well enough to you. This makes items stand up. A lot of items in PZ are displayed laying down. 
fire extinguishers, brooms, guitars, and rakes to name just a few. This mod rotates their models so they stand properly, currently affects over 50 items and also angles pillows. Benefits of this mod, you can stand up items and also have them flat. You can clutter your house like a madman. The cons of this mod are as follows, literally none, I cannot think of any and I can't see any. Great job model, 10 out of 10 on the immersion scale, a small mod that changes so much. Number 4, Definitive Zombies by… I'm not saying that out loud. This mod allows you to hit the subscribe button and like the video. What? Apparently it also allows you to undo it at any time and that I really wouldn't mind. Oh no, this is just the wrong script. I may not say your name, but this mod author has one mission. To take all the zombie stat modifying mods into one cohesive package. You still not getting it? Okay, let me explain it to you. Have you ever been out in the frozen parts of the world and just seen zombies moving around like normal? Well now you can change that and make them slow as hell. Now you're getting it, right? It just makes the game more realistic in terms of the zombies and how things would probably affect a bunch of shambling undead people. The benefits of this mod. Night lowers zombie sight and memory. Temperature slows the zombies down when the weather reaches 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Fog greatly reduces zombie sight and memory. Rain reduces the zombies sight and hearing. Heavier rain affects their memory as well. Snow reduces the zombies sight and memory. Clouds slightly reduce the zombies sight and memory. Wind will reduce the zombies hearing ability. Zombies now have entropy which will cause the zombies to degrade depending on the number of the days that world has existed. You don't have to tinker with this mod in the settings, it has a realistic setting off the bat. And you can turn anything you like off or on. The cons of this mod are as follows. The daylight gives a boost to zombie sight and memory. The moon phases negate the negatives of the night when a full moon appears, boosting the zombie's sight and memory. You will now have nightmares about realistic zombies in the real world and how you're going to have to slowly but surely get through it and survive and maybe armor up your house and get food and eventually maybe everyone you love will die. Yes, this actually happened and I have had issues ever since. Overall, not really that bad to me. I give this mod this better be a future update to the game by the devs out of 10 on the immersion scale. 10 out of 10 would be left broken by my nightmares again. Number 5. Inventory Tetris by Not Long. Have you ever been playing this and thought, man, my character can just carry way too much in his pockets and hands? No? Well, this mod changes that by making every item have a block size in your inventory menu and giving you a restriction on the amount you can carry. Is this better than the base game? No! Is this immersive and actually let you carry a regular amount of stuff? Yes. The benefits of this mod are as follows. You get to feel like you're playing Diablo 2 or Escape from Tarkov sometimes. It is more realistic. The cons however, you can't carry as much and you'll have to leave a load of items behind. So this is immersive but a nerfing immersive. Overall I should just give this mod a go for a playthrough and see how you like it. I thought it was fun but I really wouldn't use it all the time. I give this mod a 10 out of 10 on the immersion scale. 10 out of 10 would play Tetris again. That's all the mods that I have for you today. Appreciate you watching this video. If you want another mod review or want me to include some other mods you like, leave them in the comments section below along with any other thoughts or opinions that you have. Like the video and sub, I have a long PC guide coming out soon and I love you all. Peace.